When King George V acceded to the throne on the 6th of May 1910, new photographs were needed for coin, medal and stamp designs. In this video, we're going to take a look at the 1911 Downy Head postage stamps. The definitive stamps were originally based on a three-quarter profile photograph of the King taken in June 1910 by W and D Downey, the court photographers, and so the new stamp designs were referred to as Downey Heads. The first stamps of King George V's reign were issued on Coronation Day, the 22nd of June 1911, and they were a half penny green alongside a penny red of similar design. Also to mark the event, the Philatelic Society issued a printed commemorative envelope, believed to be the very first illustrated first day cover. Anyway, back to the stamps. It was intended that a complete set of definitive stamps were to be issued on the day, but only the green halfpence and penny red were ready. These first stamps were poorly executed due to the inexperience of various parties involved. The engravers, J.A.C. Harrison, had not engraved this type of image before. The plates were made by the Royal Mint, who had never made postage stamp plates. And the printers, Harrison and Sons, had never printed stamps before. So it was considered a right balls up. By the time the faults had been corrected, it was decided that the design was to change completely and resort to the more traditional profile portrait of the King. And in 1912, this stamp was produced, which then became the official definitive issue from that moment. Now then, if you're interested in collecting a few of these downy heads, a mint condition halfpenny green should cost you about five pounds. If you manage to get a bluish green shade, they can be worth about a hundred pounds. And if you have one with an inverted or sideways watermark, in mint condition, they can be worth up to a thousand pounds. Used examples, like the ones here, you can pick up for as little as one pound or less. So there we have it. Happy stamp hunting, my friends. Do look out for these stamps. They're certainly worth having a few examples in your collection. And as previously mentioned, some of them can fetch a bit of money. Alrighty. If you've enjoyed this video, then please do subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and comment down below. As always, here are a few other videos that I'm sure you will like. Why not check them out? And finally, thanks for all of your support, thanks for watching, and until the next video, bye for now.